Well, now he is the man who made cooking fun and who taught us that making dinner doesn't have to take all night. It's been more than two decades <laughs> since Naked Chef began and now Jamie Oliver is back here in Australia. And today reporter Sarah Stewart caught up with the father of five in this breakfast TV exclusive. Hey, feeling good, like I should. When in Durko, walk around the neighbourhood. He's written 26 award-winning cookbooks, starred in countless TV shows, opened restaurants in 22 countries and eight cruise ships. Can we eat something? Can we try something? By all means. What are we going to try? It's, well, what do you fancy? I don't know. What's good? Well, all of it. <laughs> but Jamie Oliver is the most normal, famous person you'll ever meet. I love coming to this country. Uh, it's the energy, the humour, the food. The drink, uh, I just love it. The same lovable larrikin who shot to fame 24 years ago with the naked chef. Yeah, lovely jumping. I still pinch myself every day thinking like, yeah. wow, what a life, you know, what an industry. The father of five is in Australia celebrating his nearly 10 year partnership with Royal Caribbean and to launch a new menu at his restaurant on board Ovation of the Seas, where everything, including the pasta, is made fresh daily. We've got these arancinis, try that over there. All right, um, can you have one too? Because yeah. I can't eat them yeah. Well, I I've already eaten the whole menu. Honestly, I can't keep going. How do you think I stay so skinny? Jamie grew up in a pub and left school at 16. Decades on, he's sold over 14 million books and is Britain's best-selling non-fiction author. A lot of people that come into the industry uh, get eaten up and spat out in yeah. about three years. Yeah. So I'm yeah. still here, I've still got a job. And, um, and hopefully uh, I can meet you in 25 years' time. Uh, and even when I'm an old geezer, uh, we can still have a laugh and still celebrate beautiful food. You are very loved around the world, but we want to know more about you. So I'm going to ask you some questions. Right. You've got to give me a quick answer. Only okay. two choices. OK, well... All right. Soccer or cricket? Soccer. Soccer. Uh, no, I'll cricket, actually. I'm off, I'm off soccer. Go cricket. <laughs> Okay. Well, we haven't done. I've started badly, haven't I? I know. It was yeah, supposed okay. to be one word. I'll, I'll be quicker going for it. Okay. Go on, crack All right. On. Cheeseburger or pizza? Oh, that's terribly. Uh, uh, one uh, word. Uh, that's really. I mean, a good cheeseburger. Both are quite hard to get. Oh, this is not going well, is it? Sydney or Melbourne? Oh, that's really mean. <laughs> Why would you do that? I'm just trying to get to know you. It's not like the UK where you got one city that everyone talks about. <laughs> There's like proper rivalry. Well, a little bit. And I don't want to be the piggy in the middle. Vegemite toast or Tim Tam? What's that in English? What did you just say? Vegemite toast or a Tim Tam? I've got a Vegemite toast? It's a Tim Tam. Oh, my goodness. We need Tim Tams. What, are, what is it? It sounds like Get some the biscuit, terrible rash. The chocolate biscuit. OK. Obviously, I had to pause the interview to fix that up. This is the moment of truth, this thing that I've never had before. The Tim Tam. Right. We've got it just for you. You've got to try it. Oh, interesting. I'm going to have one too because they're so good. Bite straight into it. Mm. Very, very nice. You've educated me. There you go. I've taught you what something about What have you? I will never forget this moment. Me either. Oh. I've given you some recipes. And I've given you Tim Tams. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Lovely. And back to it. All right. Read a book or watch a movie? I'm dyslexic, so I'll have to watch a movie, really. OK. Otherwise, I'll fall asleep. Messi or Ronaldo? Ronaldo, but I don't really do football, to be fair. OK. What about Adele or Taylor Swift? I'm going to go Taylor Swift today. All right, OK. Yeah. Prince William or Prince Harry? What are you trying to do? Get me kicked out of me? If you ask me that question with an Australian visa, I'll answer it. But as, I knew you as as you've got no, I, well, They won't let me back in. I know they seem all polite, but at the border control, they're proper serious. I knew that, but OK. We'll finish on an easy one, then. Go on, then. Do you wake up with the Today Show or do you wake up with the Today Show? The Today Show. There you that go. Was e that, was a, that was the easiest one. Hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... What's my name again? Oh my goodness, Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?